All right, guys, so there's two undeniable facts in the world of the network administrator. One is that PuTTY has got to be the most widely used tool for accessing devices remotely. The other fact is that it's not terribly great at managing multiple connections. So we're going to talk about some remote connection management solutions coming up. All right, guys, so if you're like me, you have a hundred connections that you have to manage. And just using PuTTY to do that isn't very friendly because you have only one small window to save those connections in. And if you have a hundred of them, scrolling through that and trying to find them is a little bit difficult. So it kind of leaves you seeking a way to manage those. And so there are some certain uh, remote connection management solutions that are available out there for free that are very good. Now, um, you know, whenever I load a new Linux machine, one of the first things that I do is I'll load Terminator console on there. And there's other ones available. There's a bunch of systems that you can use. Uh, Kitty is pretty popular. Uh, but there's, there's different ones that you can use. But uh, one that I've found that's usually Pretty available and works well for me is the Terminator console and it's a replacement for the default Linux console that um, allows you to tile your connections so if you need to SSH into say two or three devices you can tile those connections within it and you can do it vertically or horizontally or a combination of both and you know whatever makes sense um, so that works very well so there's a lot of ways to do that that makes it's so much easier than trying to open multiple console windows or multiple putty windows. Um, so that that's one way to go. Now on the Windows side, there's uh, actually a, a nice free solution from SolarWinds. Now SolarWinds main market is they do network monitoring and management and they offer Solar Putty. So they kind of repackage PuTTY into a little bit better connection manager that allows you to categorize and color code different connections. And it has other features in there like, uh, you know, auto remembering certain connections and things like that. Uh, you do have to register for that one. It is free, but you do have to register for it. So you have to give up a little information, but you can freely download it. So that's a pretty good tool. But uh, the one that I've used for many, many years is mRemote. NG. Now, it used to just be mRemote, and at some point they had partnered with another connection manager software, and the free download was taken off the market. So I don't think, I think licensing prohibited uh, accessing that one for free at that point. But at some point, it became available for free again, and now it's called mRemote NG. And this is a tool that saves your connections and you can save hundreds of them. It will save them and categorize them in standard tree format. And then with that, you can assign them icons and categories. And, you know, when you go to open new sessions, it opens them into tabs, you know, so that they're grouped together. And then of course, each individual window has a tab for it. Um, what is so powerful about this software is it's not just for managing Telnet and SSH, but you can also manage your RDP sessions with it, which is invaluable because I have, you know, uh, about 30 servers uh, that we manage through RDP quite frequently, and that really helps. And uh, you can even plug in, uh, I don't think it supports it out of the box, but there are instructions out there on how to plug in VNC connections with it and manage those connections in it as well. So it's an all-encompassing remote management tool that is, in my world, has just become indispensable. Um, it, it, it's been rock solid. I haven't noticed any bugs with it. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever had it crash. Uh, it does allow you to back up your connections in a file. Uh, it's an XML file, I believe, that uh, you can back that up. And so if you ever do lose your computer or you need to install it onto another computer, uh, so for the business world, that's very handy. You can always export that those connections and then distribute them to your technicians. Uh, you know, So that's, that's a uh, great way to manage that. Um, but it, it's just been such a life-saving tool for me with all the connections that I have to monitor. So I uh, just wanted to let you know about, hey, if you guys know of a good connection manager that you're using, let's talk about it. Put it in the comments. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, like and subscribe. We're going to be talking about a lot more uh, networking 
uh, just general stuff coming up. But uh, that's what Affordable Tech Solutions is all about. If you're looking for a, for a free connection manager, you're using Windows, mRemoteNG is, is one heck of a tool. So I'll talk to you later.